Hi there, sign up Pisces. This is Kim with your next 48 hour reading. Hope you're doing really well out there today. It's such a beautiful day. It's so hot. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, let's get into the reading. I'm using two animal decks. And like I said, I'm Kim. I open up for your spirit team, your angels, your spirit guides to give us whatever messages really that wants to come through. Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breath. Messages for Pisces, please. In the picture, my mom, I should not start reading without mentioning that's my angel on the other side helping us with this reading. Let's go ahead and get some messages for Pisces, please. <laughs> I, I never understand how does, like, how does it do it. How does it do it? <laughs> Your other water signs got this card too. Life is a mystery. Number eight, Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Ooh. Yay. A rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. Any obstacle. Overcome. 50 and then oh wow the rebirth is assured this is the card that came up on scorpios of uh, the wasp spirit here so the bat the rebirth is assured so five five and eight five five and eight and then of course the wasp spirit sometimes life stings is on the bottom so there's maybe that's an underlying issue so it might be something that you like you've already dealt with or are dealing with currently um, the bat spirit, a rebirth is assured, makes me feel like there is an end of a chapter and a new chapter. Let me, uh, light this sage incense for <clears throat> clearing out the energies here too. I should have probably done that first, but yeah, that's given me the feeling like there's an ending of a chapter and then something, of course, always, you're not going to, I mean, unless you want to be in a liminal space. <laughs> For a while sometimes it feels like that or limbo feels like we're in that space sometimes <clears throat> a rebirth is assured okay i also have the owl clairvoyance wisdom wisdom keeper wisdom seeker wisdom keeper wisdom seeker Air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the raccoon. What are we hiding? We're hiding something, and it usually talks about a creative genius that we have been hiding, or talent, or skill, or ability um, that we've been hiding from others. Look at that tiny little crown that has nothing to do with the reading. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe you have a, or maybe you should get a ring that is like a crown. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> so cute. Oh goodness. Okay. And the, so, and, and the point is, is that that rhino is able to like burst through any kind of problem or obstacle. You can, I can't imagine the rhino spirit as being like the Kool-Aid guy <clears throat> bursting through the brick wall. I used to love that commercial when I was a kid. Um, fish, prosperity, flowing around obstacles, troubles, flowing around them with ease, going around them with ease frog a need to cleanse and detoxify your spirit your actual body your um ooh, watery energy your emotions your environment cleaning the clutter on a basic note it can be fertility and and things multiplying but i really think that this is about what's in your environment and what you're soaking in and just being really careful you can have a, a shower ritual where where you end up cleansing your energy after that or you know through that process this is the beginning of something with the earthworm it's the beginning you may be a little hesitant to step out into some kind of new beginning let me turn this fan on <clears throat> even with the air on it gets hot 
when you start channeling information. Okay, so let's let's keep on going. Oh, we're going. We're doing good. We're doing good, Pisces. We're doing good. So let's ask some specific, like let's get clarifiers for each of these bigger energies here. The owl kind of make, lets me think that you know a little bit about this mystery. Um, maybe more than you think because of uh, just like clairvoyance abilities or the visualization coming through. Yeah, okay, the intuition is like what I was talking about with that owl, the intuition. You could be trying to mask some kind of um, skill or ability or not using it for whatever reason. It, it, your intuition is going to unravel a mystery for you. Piscean energy, really strong, especially coming out with that fish. But it's also talking about divine feminine receiving downloads, intuition. The onk is around her neck. That might be significant to you. Ooh, you're coming out of a difficulty financially or something that has to do with the material realm, like um, even your health issue, like a worry or concern um, about a health result or, yeah, waiting like for a test result from a dog. Something like this is, is about overcoming this, this obstacle, and it's just for the confirmation that you will overcome whatever obstacle it is, even if it feels like it's like you won't <laughs> I don't if you feel defeated I feel like that's like when you're about to win <laughs> I really do I really do because usually it surprises us and um our creator has a sense of humor apparently <laughs> so it's the five of pentacle by the way in the reverse so this this is what you want tell me about the bat spirit the rebirth is assured mm-hmm just some rest and rejuvenation. Having to deal with emotional loss. You might be dealing with this energy right now. It might be why you need to cleanse and detox or be careful with how your energy, how you're affecting your energy as it is because of you don't want to double the load that you're already carrying emotionally. And definitely take time out. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, I did that this morning. So... I guess they're just wanting me to use that um, seven of pentacle patience and planning. Use that example of, um, you know, sitting outside. Um, I just sat outside and leaned up against a tree and shared its energy with me. I shared my energy with it. And it was, um, there's a peace and serenity that comes from the healing that you get in nature. There's other, and only nature really does that, has that feeling for me. <clears throat> let's do a couple more animal cards here just because they would fit so lovely so here's the the rebirth is assured after you've taken time out and maybe time out to really contemplate and to think about things to rest to take a time out of the fight you know it seems like fight 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 and and it might be like fighting to lay down a firm foundation but you do uh the beaver here will definitely be able to overcome any kind of obstacle while building and laying down a very firm foundation. I don't know if you've ever seen a beaver dam or, or watched them build one. I would suggest you watch that on YouTube because they do have videos of them building them. And, and they have videos of uh, people <laughs> getting really pissed off because of some of the places they put their dams. But, you know they're kind of really hard to tear down because they're built so great with such hard work, dedication, and effort. And it comes naturally. It's innate. And that's kind of like what I see coming for you is this is going to feel like once you get re recharged, rusted, it's going to be like, oh, well, this is natural for me to overcome this. This is just what I do. <laughs> right? The cheetah is something that's speeding up. It's a manifestation that is speeding up for you. It may have to do with what you thought was going to be a long time to build a foundation. Might be less time than you thought because of this energy with the cheetah saying, once you rest and you recharge, rejuvenate, 
things are going to speed up uh, pleasantly. You'll be pleasantly surprised. All right. On the bottom, the moth. Got to just deal with those everyday, mundane, like, I, you know, having to go to the grocery store type things. <laughs> oh. Which, it should be getting to go to the grocery store. Some people don't. All right. So, I guess it should be getting to go. That's true. I should say that. I have concern on the bottom of the deck, number 33. So I have the Kipper, I have the Kipper deck here out. We have Piscean energy, Taurus energy, and Libra energy. There's a balance with this rebirth. It is about, I'm getting like a balance restored, especially if you resonate with this being any kind of health problem or concern. Hmm. Oh, I have the marriage card. Number um, three, the marriage card, the marriage card. I don't know, with it being on the fish, I don't know, maybe it has to do with Christianity with you um, or with whoever is watching, like the bride of, um, and letting spirit guide your commitments, letting your creator guide your commitments, your marriages, your marriage to... That con and maybe it's Christ consciousness. I want to say, and for some, for others, this is going to be a marriage that has to do with business. For some of you, it's going to be specific that hey, this is an actual like marriage or person that comes in that ends up being a, a main source of relief when it comes to overcoming an obstacle and building um, a firm foundation is like going to be part of this. Plentiful wanting to share, wanting to help. Share the bounty. <laughs> Expectation. Mm, won't see you coming. Won't see you coming. Won't be what you're expecting. Or you're not what people expected with the raccoon. Because there's some kind of, like I said, creative genius that is almost being hidden. And and not not seeing that you are able to overcome an obstacle. But you're, you're going to, like, you'll show them type energy. Uh, we have mature woman mature woman it's coming out in the upright i don't necessarily see if there's anything causing problems with that maybe it's what they're expecting out of you or this person is uh the lover's energy the crossroads so there is definitely a mystery when it comes to the lover's energy it's the number 15 which does reduce to the six which is the lover's energy but the 15, however, <laughs> could be dealing with a little bit of obsession first. Mature woman, main female. Where's, okay, it's right in front of my face, then I probably won't see it. <laughs> Let's use the siren song. Let's see what else we get. So you be at a crossroads, and that in itself is a mystery, but you can sense it. You can sense it. Your intuition knows what this is. Let's ask some specifics. Tell me a little bit more about the intuition, please. Somebody that is loyal, a loyal friend, the dog energy, a loyal friend. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's what I said it might be, right? That's what I said. So, th this is, is, is your spiritual evolution. This is your spiritual connection. This is uh, your cross to bear. Not in a bad way. I know that sounds bad. It's not, though. Um, the hard work, the sacrifices that you have made are going to pay off way more than, than you can even know. The fish and the cross and the marriage, yes. <laughs> wow. Tell us more about um, this expectation then, too. The mystery. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, another marriage card. You got both of them. <laughs> marriage, marriage. Pisces, what's going on? <laughs> Double confirmation that something is going to pay off. And that something is going to be divinely guided. 
divinely guided. Laying down a solid foundation is very important. The ability to overcome any obstacle is there. Tell me more about this. Marriages, goodness. Tell me more about the marriages. A new place to live. The parlor. The two chairs there. Spending some quality time. Getting to know somebody in the pri privacy and the comfort of um, a new place or new new room, new, new something. Oh, wow. And it's been a really long road to get to where you are, but you're getting there fast, sooner than later. And so also this could be like a, oh, you have another expectation card so this is like more than you expected it's like double what you expected everything is coming out in doubles there's something about the occupation with life is mystery um life purpose and the book a secret hidden knowledge but once again the mystery the owl knows the owl knows um yeah what is hidden from you with the book what is that? What is hidden from us <laughs> with the book? Tell me what is hidden from us. Tell me what, you know what? Let's go to the tarot for this because I want to see. I want to see who's in the tarot. Uh, a different deck. High Priestess. Will Fortune. It's a new, it's a new fortunate uh, time for you. Season. Cycle. Let's bring this down here. What is this book about? The uh, knowledge that is hidden. What is this knowledge that is hidden? Intuition. The king of swords in the reverse. Who is actually an adversary? Who doesn't wish for your well-being? Who is uh, trying to make moves? Uh, oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> My readings keep going there. With the, okay, so what I'm getting, and you're, please don't think I'm crazy. What I'm getting is the, is agents of chaos. <laughs> agents of chaos. And an agent of chaos, let me give you an example of what this would be. And this is e either knowingly or unknowingly, these people do this. Um, and um, another way people could call it is uh, almost like triggering on purpose. You know what I mean? Trying, but the trigger has a reason for it. Like, if someone were to trigger you because they know that you're going to do something destructive, that would be an agent of chaos. And that is what I'm getting with the King of Swords in the reverse. Somebody that's got a very smart mind, but they, for whatever reason, are being influenced or swayed by these... Um, maybe darker entities or entities that their goal is to trip you up, to be your adver adversary. I don't know. Maybe it's part of the soul plan. Maybe somebody's a friend of me in the end, right? Um, but as for now, you have to be very careful with this energy. And another reason I said, and I've got the King of Pentacles in the reverse too on the bottom. So Taurus and Aquarius energy here. I, I would just be very careful because the book being a secret or some kind of knowledge hidden and the King of Swords reverse it makes me feel like this might even be energies that have an authority position or have a position of power. <clears throat> and so it would seem like this person wouldn't do this or wouldn't, um, it wouldn't be part of their character because, I mean, they may look and appear very upstanding right but and even might justify what they do to themselves as for the greater good of order you know what i mean but it's not it's not when it comes down to it it's not and and so that's why you have heavily 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 guarding guarding energies you have protection um yeah you have protection for this and your protection to overcome any obstacle that might be even purposely sent your way or thrown in your way, right? It's like somebody making sure that all the spare wood is taken out of the vicinity where the beaver lives. <laughs> so that the beaver is like, I could have sworn I saw this wood here the other day that I need. Now I'm going to have to go 
two miles out of my way. It's like that's that's the type of um, energy that would cause problems that would require thinking to call us. It's really extreme manipulation. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so we're going to move on from that and just give that kind of warning there. Tell me about the frog, about the need to detox and cleanse your energy here. What is that about? What's the need to declog? De de clog? Detox your energy because of your independence and self-reliance. Um, there could be manipulation tactics used uh, against you. For example, if you are needing or requiring somebody's assistance or there's any type of codependency, there's that foothold where these people would take advantage and manipulate. But they can't if you're completely independent and self-reliant. And this is what energy here is is saying there's a need to like clear yourself of any kind of and it's and it's going to be a process i think i don't think it's like an overnight thing. it might be overnight with you maybe you're already at the nine of pentacle right the less you have to depend on these energies the less they can manipulate and i think the unseen or the secrets are the things that even these people don't want anybody else to see or know about they wouldn't want it to ruin their uh, character. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, there's your opportunity. And so part of this mystery, though, is that you're so protected um, because I don't think you wish anything on anyone, any harm on anyone. And I think that that is why, like, you spiritually, you're so strong. Your spiritual abundance is about to be matched with material abundance if you should take this opportunity. And it definitely is a mystery. I'm getting cat spirit because it's cutting off the bob. Someone might be named Bob, but <laughs> the cat spirit is about your independence, claiming your independence. This is something you can manifest. When I see the magician like this, that's these people trying to make you feel like you're not the magician, but you most certainly are. And it is not the circumstances that have control over you, but that would be the, what the illusion would feel like, right? Maybe parting ways with somebody or calling in your divine counterpart, your soulmate energy with that six of cups in the reverse. Another six, keep your thoughts happy. You will be leaving these energies behind soon, especially if you step into this one, the magician power, the self-reliance, entrepreneurship, and then go down this path that's going to lead you to a lot of financial security, protection, and abundance. Because it's time for change with the Knight of Swords, and it's swift incoming. It is your focus and your determination that will get you there, guys. So, for the most part, that's what I've got for you. If you feel like you need this reading to be... Um, more personal you can book a reading in the personal um personals <laughs> in the personal section it is really hot out there today i think i need to start wearing a hat so let me try to rephrase that check the description box below you get a private reading number one you are a leader truly you're innovative a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity your determination knight of swords and endurance are powerful, will help you get through the rough times and reach success. And so will the Six of Swords and the Six of Cups in the reverse. You're just going to be forging and healing new soul connections. And getting into the flow is what you need. So the discipline is going to be needed for you also, right? Um, 777, your purpose flows from within you. And everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in flow. 31, your approach to life is both an effective mix of practicality and imagination. It says your, your mind is stirring with creative ideas. And you do have the organizational skills to manifest them into life. You are disciplined. And just don't let any, any kind of energy throw you off of your um, discipline also. All right. So that's what I've got for you all. I'm sending you much love. Thanks. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and come back for your next reading. All right. Bye, Pisces.